friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Outlast over here at Lost Time Gaming. I'm Devo, we are jumping back into the shoes of Miles up sheer, and uh, it's definitely a guy crucified in an upside down cross, which is like, if there was something that elicits extreme bad news, like, uh, like a bad situation, a bad place to be in, a, a crucified guy on an upside down crucifix is like, Man, that's like taking the cake. I don't see how much more like red flag you could get. You know what I mean? Like that's like extreme danger. Warning, warning. Like, oh hey, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I, w I was wondering if they were gonna do that, and the answer was yes. They they did do that. seemed odd that like got the quest item and nothing happened and you'll have to forgive me from using using generic terms like that so often I played a, I played a lot of MMOs and it's just one of those things I picked up over the years is, is, is that guy just gone forever now miles wipe your nose I don't want to hear you sniffling gross one of those things I always thought about whenever I play like a first person kind of walking simulator esque kind of game is like where where do you draw the line on realistic like breathing breathing and like hyperventilation kind of you know we've we played many a uh, many a game on this channel so far based on horror and like all the characters seem to do that in different ways but I'm just, I don't think I've ever seen the perfect balance of, like, how to elicit that your character is, like, you know, anxiety-filled and having a bad time versus, like, not having it be annoying. It's, it's borderline annoying in this game. And I'm, like, not trying to talk smack on the game. Ah, uh, Miles. Miles, why? Why, Miles? Miles, also, your your night vision is literally about to die. They'll never find me here. Even though he can totally see me from right where he comes in. Also, like, I could have barricaded that door, but... Why, why would I do that kind of deal? I was... I was sure that he was so far away that he wouldn't see me. But I guess I, I stood up and walked too soon, so like he heard me kind of deal. You're not you're not running back in here, are you? You're not like bugged out, cause that would be that would suck. And I'm pretty sure that that guy was literally in the one of the directions like where I, we have to go to get one of these fuses. The wild thing is, is that I couldn't even tell you what the key goes to that we need the fuses for. <laughs> I just know we need it. Also, I wonder, since he chased us over here, is he, like, gonna reset his path and be in this hallway again? Yes. The answer is yes. Okay, he's, he's going that way. I think that gives us some time to go this way. Shut that door, screw him, hope he dies. Driving the nails? Pray for revelation? I mean... Oh, here he comes. Don't mind me, friend. 
No, you didn't see me. You don't know where I am. No, no, you, oh, you totally know where I am. You're cheating. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lure you all the way over here, right? And then I'm gonna go for it. Oh, crap. This, all right, so we're gonna, no, why are you going that way? That's, that's a terrible idea for you to go that way. Also, he's got like a Michael Myers thing going on there where he's just kind of blindly swinging in the darkness. All right, well, we're just, we're running the circuit. I, I think this is what the game wants, wanted us to do. It just wants us to run like a madman. Uh, 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 there it is. Oh, you're right there. You, you saw me run in here. There's no hiding from you. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Not a problem. I will... It, it seems, and I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like Miles Upshur has infinite stamina. Yeah, sh shake it off, Miles. Do my... Miles almost had, like, anxiety vomiting there. That was intense. Don't do that, man. One, I just, I don't want to see it, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think we're all good. I think we're all good. Come on. Oh, it's you. Come on. Just get, oh, you son of a... You gotta be kidding me. Miles, go down the hole. Like, okay, or not. You know, whatever. Fine. That's great. I'm glad that happened. Uh... It's like, yeah, just get this key. Get these three fuses. Oh, it fell down. Sorry. Oh, maybe that's what the, uh, the downstairs was. That's why there was a downstairs and an upstairs. Gotcha. But yeah, it does seem like Miles has infinite stamina. Which is like the best thing. I I wish I could have infinite stamina. Oh crap. That was definitely somebody else down here. I wonder what would have happened if I came here first. Has there been a jump scare or something? Oh, hi, guy hiding out in the corner. How are you? Let me just steal these documents here. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I'll just read these in total darkness. Project Paperclip. Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency. Document number 8 of 186. Location 230 slash 86 slash 46 slash 5. Excerpt. REF Nazi War Crimes Disclosure Act. A. The first paperclip provides a means of obtaining services of foreign specialists for specific assignments within the technical services of the departments of Army, Navy, and Air Force. B. Project 63 is primarily a denial program with utilization of a desirable feature. The aim of this program is to secure employment in the United States of certain preeminent German and Austrian specialists, thus denying their services to potential enemies. This is, uh, I think I mentioned this in a previous episode that when World War II ended, we kind of scooped up a lot of the Nazi scientists to do not cool stuff. And uh, that's, sadly, that's real. Uh, not like this specifically is, is what happened, but we, that did happen. Now, and again, that document kind of makes it seem like they're doing uh, the world a favor by us having them instead of somebody else having them, but like, yeah, okay. That's, that's all I got for that is a, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, is this just gonna be like sitting here on the ground? Is that, is that what's up? I don't see a laundry chute or anything. Is there a laundry chute? A dumbwaiter shaft? confused I just don't want to go over to that guy if I can not go over to that guy but it seems like the game wants us to go over to that guy 
I was like, oh, great, yeah, that's, that's what I was, what I always wanted to do. Yeah, you're wielding a, like a machete too. That's great. Hey, uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, sweet. My headless head or my bodiless head got to look at my headless body again. That's great. I like that's a theme with this game apparently. So like. It, that key was not down there, right? Like, that wasn't... That was not something I, like, glaring oversight, it just simply was not there. So let's go over to Father Martin and see if he's got anything to say about it. As much as I don't want to go anywhere near that guy. Oh, and he's gone. That's great. Didn't even hang out. Alright, maybe, maybe I'm overthinking this, and instead of being in that downstairs area, it was, um, like in that basement area, it was just sitting somewhere in the lobby, kind of where the elevator shaft is. Oh, crap! Ah, so I, uh, forgot to jump, and my, my femurs just shot straight into my internal organs, and just, I die. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, save save all the night vision. Just we don't we don't need to really see where we're going. Just sort of. Give it the alley oop. I don't like any of that. Yeah, maybe it's in one of these areas here. Oh, that's boarded up. It's so boarded up, Miles flatly refused to even, like, look at it. Oh, can't can't walk over to dead body. But we did get a battery, though, so that's fun. That's locked. How about the other one? Oh, uh, well, that sucks. Well, crap. Go back this way a little bit, see what we can see. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't this a laundry room? Yeah, nailed it. Picked up the key to access third floor. Emancipated. What do you, what do you mean by that? Oh, 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 oh. Um. Luckily, the first room I ran into had lockers. How about that? Oh, I was gonna say, and he almost picked the right locker to open, too. If you could... I was gonna say, if you could kindly walk away, I I'd, I'd sure would appreciate that. I'm just stay here in this locker for a while. Let the let the pee in my pants air dry. Just kind of t dry it out on natural. Oh, sorry, that's gross. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I just realized I, I keep hearing these steps that like I'm not sure where they're coming from, and I swear. The game gives Miles a uh, footstep sound effect whenever he turns, which is just maddening on a scale I'm not ready for. Oh, yeah, let's not die again. Are you telling me I can just unlock this now? Nice. And we shot up behind us. Like cool people. No hole in this staircase? Good. Oh, this one, though. <laughs> Almost. Oh, I'm glad I shut this. So now I could just keep doing this like a chump. There we go. 
You got it, Miles. Follow the blood. Why, why is that the, Why is that our objective? I, I really can. Can I not follow the blood? Ooh, batteries. Although I feel like you're loading me up with ammo, like in a like in Doom, and now I'm worried about having a boss fight. In this game, it's a seeing stuff fight. And there's blood there. Six batteries is six batteries seems solid enough for the time being. Hey, what's up? Get up there, Miles. Get up there. Come on. I don't see anybody in here. This is all bad. I didn't, uh... I didn't see that. No, not that, Miles. What are you doing? The, the battery, man. As much as I'm ready to hide at a second's notice, like, that's... Was that like that? Did I just not see that and I fell through a hole because of a doof or like what? I think I might have just accident. That was one of those things where if you're not paying attention, you fall down the hole. Not like it was a floor, but the game's like, haha, now you fell down the hole. Come on. What, there's no way out of here? How does this work? Oh, I get it. I see what you're going for. Huh? <clears throat> well, that wasn't it. I thought I had it right, but nope. <clears throat> there she blows. Also, Miles, how's your uh, how's your fingers doing, bud? You you got sepsis yet? You bleeding out? No. You should, like, by all rights, you should have bled out by now. Yeah, that was a big hole, and I just walked right into it. Okay. Just, just want to know, for posterity's sake. Yeah, nothing nefarious about this at all. I don't like any of this. I cannot describe to you the level of how unnerving this game is. It's kind of like... I mean, I suppose it's like any good horror experience where you're just... anxious to be walking around, like, playing the game, let alone experiencing anything. Did we get a document? We did. Excerpt from the Diary of Shirley Pierce. Mount Massive Mental Hospital patient, 1952 to 1964. How can I not remember where the cuts are coming from? They hurt so deeply, even days later. Dr. Newhouse tells me that it's my fault. I'm subconsciously resisting the hypnotherapy. But I want so much to get better. I don't know how I could be doing this to myself. Dr. Newhouse says it's another condition of my bedroom-inspired hysteria. Poor Bruce. I make him suffer so. I've tried, subtly, to ask Miss Jackson if she's had similar issues with her husband. But she is loath to talk about it. Her husband, too, has found comfort in a younger woman. I know the doctors only mean well, and with the help of the government men who have joined the staff, I am in the very best hands possible. I should just take my pills and sleep, and hope for more pleasant dreams tonight. Whew, I'm not... I'm not touching that with a 10-foot ball. That's all bad. That was all... There was nothing good about that. Which, you know, could be like a theme about this whole place. Is, uh, you know, there's no nothing good about any of this. <laughs> it's a fun experience, but in reality, this would be a terrifying... Oh, hi, Vol Rider! You gonna ride some walls? Ride some Vols, sorry. That's where I just came from over there. Okay. Lie. Yeah... Even though... Oh. Man, that freaks me out. Thank you for the scribbles, Miles. What did, what did you jot down here? I recognize the handwriting. Father Martin killed a man here. 
are the lies he's talking about, all the files missing from these boxes, the facts, the records. They look like they're government agency material, at least 30 years old, probably older. I start thinking MK Ultra, CIA, mind control, the buzzing won't stop. Yeah, well, you literally had a face-to-face run-in with the, the Vol Rider, so, you know, you're pretty much screwed at this point, considering it's it's driven every other person insane, so. Although, wait, follow the blood. Yeah, is this... I thought we were going a little hole. Yeah, I guess not. I... Oh, there's more blood on the wall. Gotcha. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's the naked guys. It's the naked guys. Buff naked twins. No, thank you. Yes, thank you, Sousaphone. I appreciate your loud blaring. No, nope, that's the wrong way to go. I don't know how I know, but I know. Just say no to buff naked twins. Yes, Sousaphone, loud. Wait, no, I went in a big circle. How did I do that? We're back in the room that I dropped down in to fall through the floor, right? Yeah, because there's the way I came up. That's unfortunate. That means I gotta go back this way. Oh, hi, buff naked twins. I'm going for it. I, are they deaf? Is that, is that what's going on here? Because, like, I ran right past them. They did not care. Also, the, the twists and turns are throwing me for a loop, but at least I got them away from the area I assume I need to go to go forward. Yeah, this looks, this looks, you know, better than Naked Twins. Okay, here we go. All right, well, there goes my ankles. I didn't, I wasn't using them for anything anyway. Father Martin? Is that you? The, hello? Yeah, something tells me this ain't gonna open, yeah. Nope. Maybe, maybe this then. Heck was that? The ceiling just collapsed a little bit? What's going on here? I guess this is nothing. I think I was supposed to actually make that jump and I failed. <laughs> I think that's the long and short of it. There we go. That's the ticket. Falling down here was the... I hear Father Martin again. No, never mind. He's going to be quiet again. That's fine. Great. <laughs> nice. Nailed it. No, no. Miles. Miles. did see somebody open that door, right, when we were falling down? You need your camcorder to navigate the darkness. Yeah, obviously. Thank you for that. Well, I guess we're gonna have to navigate the darkness in the next episode, because that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of Outlast. I am Devo, Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below which led about my gameplay and my commentary or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, 
I'll catch you all on the flip side.